This one I call a grouse and gold. It's just named after the materials used. And it's quite simple to tie. Now the one thing we do use is the traditional silks. It's the Pearsall silks. And uh, you can see gossamer silk. And this colour is gold. Hence the name of the fly. Now, simply wax. It's important that you run the wax through. Now I've got the wax on my finger. No, I do run it through. Not once. Take away any excess as I wind it back on. And we start at the eye. Just run the thread all the way down. I usually run it to the point of the hook and then remove the waste piece. And then come down maybe three to four turns and then start to come back up. Now nice and tight. Form a small tag with about half a dozen turns back up. Now for the body you can use hair's ear or I've got a mix of this one here is rabbit and fox squirrel. And it's just a simple put it onto the thread. It's nice and light. We can wind it on as we go up. Just form a nice nice body with it. Form like a taper. We stop it round about a mill and a half. Take away any excess from the eye. Don't be too fussy with the body. Uh, just get, as long as you don't overdress the fly. Now for the the hackle, I'm using a grouse covert feather. These ones here. I've already taken one off. Quite easy to prepare. Now you make sure you got a reasonably marked feather. Now you don't need a lot of a lot of fibres here. You actually take most of them away. So you right, remove fluff and the excess fibres just to reveal the tip. Now I get my small hackle pliers and then I just come in hold the tip of the feather draw back the fibres that I want that I need to that point there put a wee bit of wax on my thread with the front of the hackle facing myself come down with a couple of turns Fold back the tip and come back up with a couple of turns. Just keep a hold of the hackle on that just now so that you can find the tip of that tip of the hackle, trim it away. Now I like to use my small hackle pliers to wind these on. So it's just like a turn in front of the other, so just draw them back. Now the grouse hackle is I would say one of the nicest when it's wound on a fly. Now for a, this, this is a great, great pattern to use. I say right at the beginning of the season, and uh, can be very productive. The water hen blower and this together work extremely well. Trim away this piece of this feather stem. Get a wee bit of wax there. Now you could finish it that. It's up to yourself, or you can add some peacock kettle. Yeah, I'm gonna single, single strand of peacock here. It's quite simple to tie in. Just fold it around the thread. This is close to the tip, and then wind up to the th to actually the feather, and bring the thread back down a bit. Now that's it tucked in. It's a matter of taking off the point. Now nowadays, instead of using like a like shellac. Or a type of varnish, just use the super glue. Just I usually touch the head. Uh, I just wind, then the hack, the the hair all down. Just watch your feathers, far fibers anyway. Do around about I would say two to three turns. Then come in again with a single turn, fold it back. Now save space. The threads are thick. Now you can put a wee bit of wa uh, varnish onto the thread at this point. Now this will hold, especially the way I'm tying it. Always keeping the thread nice and tight. And come in. But three turns is enough for the bit finish. Slide it up, tighten it. Trim away your thread. And then, when you 
break off your peacock kettle because it's, it's a really strong grip we've got there. And there we are. It's a lovely dressing. Fish extremely well. And as I say, you can do variants of it if you want. As the hair's ear body meat is slightly darker, uh, it can work. Uh, thread, you could darken it down slightly, but I like it the lighter colour. Or even if you want, you could use like a primrose yellow. And that would again lift the colour again. It's up to yourself. But anyway, that's what I call the grouse. The grouse in gold. So I hope you enjoyed that.